This is going to be the Cliffs of Moher adventure. Not a walking tour, it's going to be an adventure. Welcome to my office. I suppose uh, I'm living the dream. It's a nice place. I have two farms on the trail here. I have my home farm, which is further back near Doolin. And then I have um, outside farm here, which was my grandfather's farm, uh, coming through the trail here as well. There's five generations of my family here. I'm fourth generation. Uh, my three sons are fifth generation. To farm these lands here, all along the edges of the Cliffs of Moher here, you have to be what I call would be a rare breed. If I look back 20 years ago and I'd say that I was a full-time farmer here, and I would have said I'd be out here 20 years later uh, walking the trails here and giving tours, I would have said you were crazy. But look at uh, the reason I'm out here on, on the tours here is because um, in lots of ways I am crazy, but it's a nice type of crazy. I'm, I'm crazy with pride and passion for my local area where I grew up, that I want to share it. Well, here we are landing now here in Island Sharrock, and you're looking way out down the south side of the cliffs here. And for me, this is the number one view of the Cliffs of Moher. And they walk up to the edge here and they say, wow, look at this. That's what makes it for me. Because I know that they realize this is something special. They, I, I've realized it all my life here. But when they come and they see it, this is a fantastic view here. That's when you know that what we're doing here is something special. I'm making a phone call down to uh, my friend in the boat there. There's uh, two, two brothers there fishing, Michael and Jerry Connell. Good morning, Mr. Connell. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Michael, 100 lobsters tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, it's cold up there today. Cold? I'd say it's a lot colder if you put your hand out over the boat there. When these lads are out here on the waters here, this is why we have fresh lobster and fresh mackerel and fresh crabs uh, in our pubs and in our restaurants here in Dolan here tonight. This job is the best job in the world to find day and it's the worst job in the world to bad day. <laughs> and when things are going right, it, it, you'd be happy, happy. And when things are going wrong, you'd be the saddest man in the country. We've been fishing all the scanner between Dool and the scanner roughly about 35 years. And the lobsters are close into the shore and, lop, and the crab are out in deeper water. Usually we stay around the edge of the hard ground and maybe out in the clean. They come overnight and they just disappear overnight as well. It's amazing. Do you see that big rock that's there? That's why they call it Hagshead. You see the snows and the nose and all as well, if, if imagination. We've been on the wild Atlantic way here, you know, so we lose a lot of days because of weather. Like when you get a big swell there, you can't shove your gear in close, try and get lobsters. And... For every lobster we lend, we throw away about six, just to keep stocks up and this really is working all right. My name's Tess McGovern and I'm from Doolan. I'm an Irish dancer. It's here that I got that love for Irish music and dance. I've been dancing my whole life. My parents have been running the traditional Irish music shop in Doolan for over 20 years, 30 years. I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, but they've been going years. They've supported the local acts. Um, they've sold every CD that's going. So I've heard music my all my life. So this is my favourite photo. Uh, it was taken the very first time I danced at the Michael Russell Festival in Doolan, which used to be held in our local church. So I was bouncing away, loving the music, and up I went then, up onto the dance floor, and that was the first time I danced. The big thing for me about Doolan is that community around the music. We're just so proud of it. I've run a B&B &B for the last 35 years. 
and Kate has joined me this is the past two years. Two years. Yeah, full time. Kate's um, she trained as a singer. The odd times now she might burst into song for the guests and they love it. Yeah, if my mum traps me inside in the conservatory and she says, Kate will sing you a song now and <laughs> so I'm serving plates. Yeah. You know, and we take care of people. That's what we love to do. And I suppose the greatest privilege of all is we meet people when they're on holiday. Generally that's when they're at their best. We have fun doing it. Lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have as much fun as we're having, but you know. We're very lucky in this house. The land that this house was built on was my grandfather's. And Kate's kids are the eighth generation of our family here. So with the help of God, it'll continue for many years to come. Most houses in Doolan would be a minimum of six generations. A lot for us is just taking the time to hang out with people as well and have the chat, share stories, you know, and not take ourselves too seriously. And we're only three minutes in the pub. I've walked it in two, <laughs> but it's taken me longer to come home, but it can be done in three. Three good minutes, and you're there. So, I mean, we've people staying with us over 30 years. Now it's gotten to the extreme that they're coming on holiday with us. They've been at Scotland, Sicily, London, America with us. One uh, couple have spent three Christmases already with us. Mm. They love it, but it's not just here, it's the whole experience of Doolan. You know, they've gotten to know the local people. They feel part of a community. My name is Matty Shannon. I live in Doolan and uh, my family have been here for a couple of hundred years. It's a lovely place to live. In the team here we have uh, 24 volunteers and they're all living locally within 6-8 kilometres of the station. So we have the Cliffs of Moher to the south here. Great view, panoramic view of the cliffs. And uh, northwest here we have the Aran Islands. And the ferries go from Doolan Pier. So it's a very busy area. So it's important that the Coast Guard station is here because maybe it makes people think when they're in the area and when they see the Coast Guard it might relate to safety and all that. Yeah, so we have Crab Island here. It's a um, great area for surfing and uh, it's one of the best barrel and uh, right hand curve waves as they call them or something. Not a surfer by any means. <laughs> so the the thing about the Boron then is we have flowers from the Mediterranean, from the Arctic and the Alpine regions all growing together in the one. Here's a glacial erratic here. And you can imagine this stone gliding along in the ice and snow. And as the ice just happened to melt here at this point, it was gliding along here and there's three stones. It's sitting on these three small stones with the last 15,000 years. There's a plant growing here. It's good for you. High in vitamin C. We don't have oranges growing in Ireland, but we have plants to do the same thing. This is scurvy grass. It's a, it's a member of the mustard family. People have been living in Doolan continuously since 3000 BC. I was following cattle here one morning and the sun happened to be shining across and I just saw this pattern on the rock here carved out. Probably to make it for a quidden stone for grinding corn. These are called cashels or ring forts. This is a souterrain, an underground passage. And uh, it's 13 meters long. It's 1.2 meters high, 1.2 meters wide. This here is a court tomb. These are the oldest tombs in Ireland. You can see the big rock on the horizon up there. September 1588 was a very stormy autumn. So the Spanish went into the coves for protection from the storms and the English devised the plan if they set fire to their ships and sailed them into the middle of the Armada they would blow up the Spanish ships. So when the Spanish saw the burning ships coming they cut their anchors and they sailed up along the North Sea down around past Scotland down around the west coast of Ireland and the sailors off of that ship were shipwrecked there and buried up there in the landscape. Corrigilingabui, the stone of the yellow ship. The people had a sallower skin, dark hair, dark eyes than the people who lived here. Here's a great view of the clinks and grikes, all these cracks in the rocks. They all face in one direction, east, northeast, south, southwest. When I bring people walking here, I, I walk along it like this 
and I lay a fiver here. And I say, and you can walk as far as you know, you can pick up the fiver. <laughs> Everybody gets excited and they want to do it with the hurry, that they don't do it. <laughs> I haven't lost the fiver yet. <laughs> I'm Caroline. I'm originally I'm from Holland. I'm living in Doolin 25 years now. I live just near Doolagore Castle. And we're overlooking the sea. Crab Island is kind of in front of us. After about 10 years of wondering what was underneath that sea that we see every day, I thought it was time to go diving and uh, find out more about it and uh, I joined the, the local dive club, the Burns of Aqua Club, and they taught me how to dive. We dive in the summer. It's, it's like being in the Burren, but underwater, and of course you have all the, the, the underwater life, the fish and the crabs and the lobsters. Um, you kind of float, it's like floating above the Burren, um, but underwater. Um, the landscape is, is pretty much the same. Now we're diving up and down the Clare coast, but um, Doolin's always my favourite. It's, um, it's the best for diving. I look at Doolin myself now as a musician, as the College of Music, you know. But it's magnetic anyway. If you walk along the pier down there and then up the bottom, you're drawn to it, you're, you're drawn into it, you know. I always compare Doolin to New Orleans. It's the New Orleans of Irish music, without any doubt, because I was in New Orleans and I see the way they operate in New Orleans and it's very similar. There's no, no place in the world, no matter how beautiful it is, it's, it's nothing without the people. And Doolin still is a famous place for welcoming people. The idea was in my head for years and years after traveling the world that people need an insight into where they are to keep the thing proper. Otherwise, it'll slip away from you. We set this music house here up about three years ago. It's a service for people just to sit in someone's living room and listen to stories and listen to the music and of the place and that. And sometimes you see tears in their eyes. You know, there are a lot of them are ancestors of immigrants that left the country way back a hundred years ago. So it's an honor to be living here in Dolan. It's just a lovely place to live. Everywhere you look, there's some kind of beauty in Dolan. <laughs>